We're going to do the black fin tuna. When you think of tuna, you think of sushi, you think of good eating. This is a rather good sized fish, very desirable by anglers. We're going to start off with an oval. There we go with our oval and a long, thin rectangle, nice big triangle, triangle in the front. Here's our basic shapes. Again, I'll do a little darker. Our oval, long, skinny rectangle, big triangle, and a triangle in the front. Let's find where the center of the fish is for reference. Okay, so there's our basic shapes. Let's start with drawing it. We're going to start here. We're going to come down into our, rect our triangle into the front. Before we get to there, we're going to bring the line down, come out about a quarter, and bring the other line out like that. Now we're going to attach to this, come around, and right behind where this line is, we're going to come up for the gill cover. For the eye, find the end here, and that's our reference to where our, our, our eye starts, and the eye is going to go there. Let's continue up here, come down, and we're going to just kind of shape it down to the end. Here too, we're going to follow our oval and go right up to where that dot is. This is going to continue a little bit into the triangle here. Then for our tail, we're going to start a little bit in from our triangle. We're going to curve it out here. We're going to curve it out. Stop right there and this will come into that and over to that. We have that nice strong pelagic tail. For our fins, find where your reference is for your gill cover. And just behind that, we're going to come over and in for one of the two pectoral fins. Now find where this started. We're gonna go over, not always to the center, but a little bit here. We're gonna come up for the hard dorsal, come down and over just about to where that ends and stop. Then we're gonna make the second dorsal right there and come down. Find where this started, come straight down for one of our two ventral fins, out and over, and we can make another one that's right next to it. For the anal fin, it's a little bit, find where this goes, a little bit behind there, come out and over. This is a uh, tuna, and tuna are known for their um, they're little tiny finlets that are all along the edge here, so we're going to make them. There's a whole lot of them. They go all the way about to the tail. And here too, we're going to make all those little triangles that go all the way. So, it looks pretty good. We have our basic shape. Let's take our eraser. Erase our guidelines right through here. When we think of tuna, we think of sushi. I know I do and really good tuna steaks. Fishermen love to catch tuna. They're a good fighting fish, found in many different temperate waters. This one, there's many different species of tuna. We have the elephant tuna, we have blackfin tuna, there's the bonita that looks similar to a tuna. Okay. All right, so now we have our basic shape. Okay, let's start with our painting. We are using our Reeves watercolor palette, which goes from black to white. We're going to start off with our three quarter inch brush. We're going to mix some of our very dark blue with our black. We're going to get a really nice dark, rich color, but we don't want just black. So with our brush, we're going to start right here above where the eye goes. I'm going to add a little more black, get a little darker. And we are going to, now I'm pressing down in the brush and we're bringing it all the way and it gets thinner as it gets to the tail. So I'm going to make it a little thicker right through here and it comes right down like that. I'm also going to use what's on my brush and we're going to put in the tail just a little bit. We'll put another light blue on that. A little bit here on the ventral fin and just a little bit at the base of both of these fins. Just like that. Also a little bit here on the top. And I'm going to um, wipe my brush off 
get it a little bit um, washed out and I'm going to use what's left on there and I'm going to make it, it's a little dark, I'm going to make a little bit more of the blue coming down, just not the darkness that was at the top, and a little bit at the bottom here coming up, a little bit on the nose, a little bit on the mouth, around the eye, and a little bit right through here, and right toward the back. Okay, now I'm also going to take a orange and a little yellow. He's got this yellow kind of an orange stripe and it goes right through here. Put a little bit here and the rest of it we're going to add a little bit of this. Make sure your brush is kind of clean. It's going to go right through to the back of the fish. Right through like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on the tail. Put a little bit here more around the eye. A little bit in the eye and we've got that light color. Now I'm going to take some of the light blue that's on your palette and I'm going to make a little bit of light blue coming down here, just a little, and a little bit here on the fin with a light blue. Not a real colorful fish as most pelagic fish are just in the different shades of blue and silver. A little bit here on this one and I'm going to make it a little bit darker here through the mouth and the gills. So I have my basic colors. I'm going to put down my three-quarter inch. I'm going to pick up my number four round brush. Now I'm going to do the eyeball with black in here. Make sure it's dry so it doesn't bleed. And I'm going to make my eyeball. Always leave a little bit of white. That's a reflective. And the outside and a little bit of the socket. Now I'm going to mix my black with my dark blue. I'm going to come down here make the nose a little bit darker, the mouth coming down, join into there, and the lower mouth and I'm going to darken that in as if the mouth is open. Bring it down, a little more of my blue black. I don't want to use just black and I'm very light and I'm going to come up here to the gill cover, a little bit of a wavy line there and there's another one that's just about here, a little bit of a line here under the eye and the lips on the fish, bottom mouth there. Now let's go to our pectoral fin and using that blue black I'm putting in the spines on that fin, a little bit of an outline there. Now let's also use the blue black and go up on the hard dorsal and show the spines. Use a sweeping motion there. Need a little bit more and the edge to them. A little bit of a rough edge. As the fish swim and get older these these fins get a little bit um, rough. They're not real smooth. They've been opened and flattened so many times. And on the second dorsal, now with the same dark blue black, let's put in these little finlets. This is what we see on mackerel, we see it on tuna, we see it on the wahoo. We're coloring in our triangles. These are on all of the tuna. These little things they call finlets. Just giving a nice smooth flow on my brush. Making sure they're dark enough. And we have them going back. Now the back here, on we're going to show um, a line that goes here that kind of goes to the tail and there's a couple of lines on either side that show how the fish attaches to the tail. I'm also going to make it a little darker right here as it goes up to the top of the fish, the, the tail, and here too I'm going to show it a little bit darker and the leading edge of the tail. Now coming up here I'm going to make another line behind here for the gill cover 
and a couple other lines. There's a lot of wrinkles in the, the face of a fish, if you've ever really looked at one closely. And of course they have nostrils, and there's these different lines that go around the mouth. So I'm just putting in a, a few right through here, just a few like wrinkle lines and through here. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my big brush again, and I'm gonna take a light blue, and I'm going to make, they have kind of like stripes that you kind of see at the bottom. So I'm just kind of making these stripes. I need a little more water and just like a few stripes here on the bottom. And I think I want to darken this up here a little more, a little more black and dark blue. It is the black fin tuna. Comes all the way down. A little bit darker up here around the eye. He's looking pretty good. Maybe just a little more of the yellow. Lighten him up a little bit toward the center here. Getting, getting some clean yellow here. And a little more of that yellow that goes toward the center. A little bit of that light blue with these kind of stripes. I'm gonna make this a little darker down here. Be lucky if you ever catch one of these because they are really good eating. And they can get nice size too. I'm going to go here on my ventral fin, show the spines. And then that little wavy line that connects them, the second of that ventral fin, a little bit of an indication of the bottom of the fish, and the anal fin right here, again showing the spines, a little bit of a waviness here, and I'm going to just take a little bit of blue with my small brush, make a little bit of a line right through there, make sure this is prominent. Fix up my tail. A little bit more blue around the eye. And I have the black fin tuna. Hope you enjoyed it.